All right, this is my uh, schooly paint job video. Do a little time lapse. Um, this is me scraping some of the letters off of it. Um, I said this was this bus was built as a mobile classroom, so it had those graphics all over it. They weren't easy to get off, but wasn't terrible. Just a lot of scraping. I didn't show a whole lot of this. Okay, now this is uh, where I started painting. This is the other side where I'd already scraped the uh, school letters off the metal and sanded it. I didn't sand the whole bus. Um, I'm, so I'm using a paintbrush and a roller. I'm using Zenser uh, Cover Stain Primer. Stuff sticks really good. Um, I did the scratch test on. I let it cure for a couple days and you know, try to scratch it. It's just sticking really good. Uh, this is tintable primer. Um, so I had to tint it this color. This is the color I want in the bus. And it actually looks good enough to where I'm. I'm probably just gonna leave it like like it is for now for a little while. And I'm just see how this stuff sticks. Make sure nothing flakes off anywhere. But um, I like the way it looks. It's a flat, <clears throat> so it's a primer, so it's a flat finish. Um, don't know how washable it's going to be when it gets dirty, but but this was a uh, super cheap uh, little paint job here. Took me two weekends, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, pretty much all day. From the time I started scraping to where it's at now, which I'll, you'll see at the end here. But this stuff's only about 20 bucks a gallon. And, you know, it's oil based. So, you know, I had to buy some mineral spirits to clean up your stuff. I already had paint brushes and all that stuff. But I started out using a foam roller. This is a little, uh, three inch rollers uh, the foam one didn't do so great I would not suggest getting the foam one I would I did my second coat with a uh, a regular I guess it's like almost like a cloth looking roller uh, you know like a normal nap roller uh, it did way better <clears throat> than the foam one there a couple more dollars I think it's five bucks for two of them or something they're not expensive but you know you, when you look at the little small rollers if you want to do it this way you got the good better and best get the ones that says best on it and I could have sprayed this but you know then it took forever taping it off and you know I had to worry about over spray and all that stuff so this wasn't bad at all. Um, it worked out pretty good. I said it looks really good. And then later, I'll, uh, maybe this coming up weekend, I'm going to do the top. I'm going to the top part that's still yellow. I'm going to go ahead and paint it white down to that uh, gutter, gutter line or whatever. But so far, I've got... Um, probably 60 bucks in this little paint job here I did do two coats and this is I just time-lapsed the first coat um, I didn't feel myself doing the second coat <clears throat> but I do have pictures of it coming up all finished And I was being careful around the fenders because I hadn't decided yet about those, but I went ahead and primed them too. I'm going to paint them. Um, also prime the bumpers. I'm going to paint the fenders, those front fenders, uh, bumpers and the rims a different color. I'm not sure what yet. But this color is a desert sand. Um, which I think looks really good. <clears throat> I 
I said, I, I took a palm sander and sanded the, where I peeled all those letters off, all that glue and crap. I tried to sand off the best I could. But I said, that's just the first coat there. And coming up here, some pictures I took just a little while ago. That's what it looks like now. It's a finished product. Um, so, still got a lot of work to do, but it is coming along. I think it's looking pretty good. Y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think.